with you guys got another video here for you this is a video update on a previous video I made on 7 quick fix tool now this is an awesome little bit of kit and uh, this is the updated version this is the 2.0 version and I'm going to quickly install this now so you can uh, see the amount that is, is been added now when you get to this stage here be careful uh, because you're going to end up installing uh, some stuff on the browser that you don't want that's the only downfall with it I can see but it's no big deal you just need to go to custom installation and take out the ticks here okay and this takes the Babylon part out so this is probably a lot of software is doing this lately there's over 108 fixes in here as you can see I'm gonna quickly go next and then create a desktop item icon just to show you Go next and I'm gonna launch this one you got a quick tip uh, box window there for you if you want to go to your next tips go through there I'm just going to close it off and as you can see pretty much you get a little pane down the bottom here uh, with all the information for each and every tool that you use as you can see as you as I flick through the tools it gives you all the information to what that tool will do now as you can see here um, enable registry editor enable uh, control panel uh, loads of good uh, parts here for um, malware removal once you've removed malware you can actually enable a command prompt task manager and stuff like that it's pretty useful to have okay so let's go on to the next tab there's some little tabs down here as you can see here and when you click on these tabs it will give you some other fixes as you can see okay now I'm going to go through them all because there's quite a few here I'm going to go to the next tab uh, slow shut down and you can just read all these little bits here and it will tell you exactly what it does so the red one here you go through the motions and it's got some fixes here okay and also we're going to go to the black tab here now this is a nice little uh, tab and this is the one that's got the add to part we'll right click context menu here so you just need to add this like so now you will need to make sure that you're running this as administrator so what that means is you'd need to right click on the icon and run as administrator for this to happen otherwise it won't work okay so once you go back to here you will find it will work like so now once you obviously right click on something and uh, let me just quickly show you this one if I right click to on a folder here you can see I'm in a new window command prompt here and it will take you straight to that location very cool and very quick especially if you like uh, fixing computers that's another little tool there now if I didn't obviously do that you'll see what I mean I'll just quickly open it up without administration privileges and uh, when I go to add this in you'll get it won't it'll get the error, error message there okay so you do need to make sure you're running that as administrator okay let's go to the next tab now there's another awesome little feature for this and you can see here the associations folder now malware itself does a lot of damage to the association uh, parts of things the executable is one of them um, and all these other different types you may get find useful okay so this is very quick and easy to use okay now I'm not suggesting this is the best tool since sliced bread it's another good tool uh, to add to your USB thumb drive and you can use it uh, for quick uh, fixes so I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoyed them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.